Evening gang, hope you're all doing well. So this is just a, a very quick video to show you a few techniques on basically taking your 2D poster, your flat artwork that you're going to be um, handing in for next week's deadline, and realizing it in a 3D environment just to enhance the whole thing. So if you wanted to put the um, poster on the side of a building or on a texture or, or wrap it around something, you've got the, the, the tools and know-how to uh, do something like that. So you can see here, I'm, I'm going to use the Red in Leeds 2014 poster as my example. Um, so this is my flat artwork here, so pretend this is your poster. And I'm going to show you how to, if I just come up to here, place it onto something like a bus ad or the side of a wall using smart objects, wrap it around um, something, e.g., you know, we've got a build in here using the vanishing point, and then finally then using displacement maps to work in the artwork into the texture that's behind it. So you can see we've got a very jagged cliff face going on here. So how we can we make that artwork look like it's been almost, you know, forced into or covered or painted onto a texture. So very straightforward stuff, guys. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Basad and look at smart objects. Um, so... First thing I need to do with Smart Object is I need to create a container to place my artwork into. Now, if you know the dimensions um, of your artwork, um, you know, for example, if it's A4, 210 by 297 mil, brilliant, you can click and just create the container. Or what you can do is just simply click and drag out the area that you want um, uh, the artwork to be placed into. Uh, so there we go. So that's that's my smart object, what it's going to be. That's my flat piece of artwork. Now, the next thing I need to do is right-click Rectangle 1, and I need to make it a smart object by clicking Convert Smart Object. Okay, and now that little symbol there will change. Now, if I double-click that symbol, what that means is now I go inside the smart object, and basically anything I place in here or get rid of and save will then appear in here. So if I come to my poster, Command A, Command C, sorry, Command A to highlight all, Command C to copy, and then if I come into rectangle, press Command V to paste in, and there we go. Like I said, my um, uh, poster is a little bit big, so if we go to transform scale, and depending on what I want to do with it, I can either scale it down like that. I can maybe keep the black there because obviously that you know fills the whole thing. Again, you know, if you use the correct dimensions, you won't have this problem. But I'm doing this quickly, so um, I tell you what, I'll keep the uh, the black there because it kind of borders the uh, poster quite nice. Click Enter, and then all I do then, if I press Command S to save, anything that happens in you now will now appear inside here. All uh, pretty straightforward stuff. So the great thing is now what I can do is I can warp, manipulate, perspective this smart object, and it won't. Anything I place in here will appear um, accordingly in this, but then I will need to warp or do anything to the original artwork. I can just keep it flat inside my smart object. So if I got the smart object selected, I go to Edit, Transform, Distort, and again, you know, like I said, this is a very straightforward one, but I can place this and map it across the bus shelter and like I said I've done it quick you'll do it quick um, better than me and it looks like it's it's part of the uh, the bus stop ad um, you know I could do various other things with it you know like I said I could put it on this wall here so I've got to edit distort you know I could bring this right down as such and you can see uh, the uh, the artwork moves accordingly place that there Enter, and then what I could do as well is use the blending tools, you know, for example, something like overlay, just to bring out that background texture there, um, you know, so it all kind of looks part of, um, you know, part of the, the way that it's been painted on the wall. You know, I could put this, I could use perspectives, put this on the pavement or, or whatever I wanted. So smart objects, really good, you know, kind of way to, to map art on the side of a, of a one-dimensional um, piece of... Um, uh, plain like wall or whatever. Um, remember as well to right click and create smart object before you distort. Yeah, make sure you've got a flat piece of art, uh, flat plane basically. Create smart object and then distort it. Otherwise, your artwork will will distort um, 
and won't look right. So very straightforward, the smart objects. Second one we're going to look at, how would I map this around so the building? Very simple, I use something called a vanishing point. So I'm going to create a new layer, layer one, I can label that if I want. And I'm going to filter vanishing point and just delete that there. So basically now what I can do is I can use the plane tool here and I map out where I want this on the building. So for example, if I click there, down to here, and then I click across, and then back up, you can see now it's just created the plane for me. And the great thing about this now is I can now add, multiply different planes. So if I hold command, you can see my cursor changes. What that means is pull, add a new plane. And then basically then, if I click and drag, you can see here I get the new plane as such. And then all i got to do is just play around. See, that's added there quite nicely. Again, if I want to add more, all I do is hold command and it will add these planes accordingly, depending on how many times I want to do it. And then all i got to do is backspace to get rid of them. So I'm happy with that. That looks really cool. I've got my two sides there. You know, like I said, I can scale them and um, manipulate them as I want. So I'll click OK. I'm happy with that. Remember to do this on a, on a, on a separate layer so you can kind of delete it as applicable. Come into poster, command A, remember, highlight all, command C to copy. And then if I go back to building and go into uh, vanishing point, all I got to do then if I press command V to paste this in and then I just click and drag and boom, there it goes. It maps and planes around um, accordingly. And if I want to resize this, the great thing is I got a transform tool here. So I click that. And basically then I can kind of, if I hold shift as well, I can make that as big or small as I want um, and map it around as such. Click OK when I'm happy and I come back out and I'm back into my original artwork now. And then the good thing about this is as before then you can use overlay, soft light, um, multiply to just blend this in with the artwork. So like, I know we've got an image behind this, but basically if that was just like a, a plain um, gray uh, or blue skyscraper, you could just see the, the bricks would come through and you'd have a really nice effect. So if you've got one plane, smart object will sort you out, but if you've got multiple planes, something like the vanishing point might be worth looking into. Um, you know, like I said, very straightforward to do. And then my final one then, if I go to Cliff, um, Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this poster, I'm going to kind of warp it over the texture of this cliff face. So it, it kind of looks like the um, poster has been, you know, kind of pushed into the crevices and that kind of stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a duplicate of one of the alphas of this. So if I'm going to, if I come to my layers, I've got one layer here, background. Um, before I do this, I'm just going to get rid of uh, that rectangle. We've got channels, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn off green and blue. So I've just got the red alpha here, which I'm happy with. Now I'm going to need to duplicate this. So if I right click red, oh, hang on, let's get that. Yep, let's get that selected on its own. Duplicate channel. Now I want a new document, I'm going to call that alpha one. Yep, that's fine. Click OK. So there we go, that's alpha there, and then if I come back into cliff, then I can just switch back on RGB, back to layers. So that's, that's as it was, but I've got my new document here, which gives me what I want. I'm going to add a little bit of blur to it, just to help with the, uh, the transition of the blend. So let's try Gaussian blur, and this doesn't need to be much, you know, like a 0.8 or 1 should be fine. Click OK. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this as a PSD. So I'm going to call this Displace, and I'm going to save this to my desktop, click save, fantastic. I'm going to come back to Cliff now and I'm going to add a new layer because I want to drop this into uh, my artwork into this layer. So again, command A, command C to copy and then if I command V to paste in, there's my Red Leaves poster. Now I'm going to just map this kind of across the here I want. I remember because I've got the full scale of all this, it doesn't really matter where I put it, the uh, displacement map should work accordingly. And then all I've got to do then is I've got to filter, distort, displace. Uh, yep, yeah, that's all fine. Click OK. And it's going to ask me then where's your displacement map and I'm going to grab the original displacement map that I found before 
And if I click open, and there we go, it's mapping this in then into, as you can see, it's got all jagged edges, you know, things are protruding and that kind of stuff. And then basically, again, like I said, if I use um, one of the options like multiply, you know, I could try color burn, um, you know, something like lighten. I said that's a little bit too much. Um, you know, that, that's a really cool effect. And basically, now you can see the whole thing looks like it's almost been painted onto um, the cliff face. So you, you could try this with brickwork, you could try this with, you know, the grass, you could, you could you know, protrude this onto, like, a, uh, you know, something with a texture, like, you know, like a, a kind of grainy wall, something like that. It's kind of down to you, really. You know, I think that the more kind of um, interest in the texture, I think the better results you get. You know, I think if the wall's quite flat and quite simple, this, this kind of won't give you a, a very good result I think you'd be better off just using like a smart object something like that um so I hope that gives you some really cool ideas guys for what you could do with your posters again you know it's all about visualization showing the client this is how it would look in this scenario 2d artworks are well and good but in a if you can put your 2d artwork into a 3d environment and do stuff like this it's just going to make and enhance your whole project and make it look good so think about in Cardiff you know where could I put my posters on the side of the museum, you know, projected onto the to the grass or, or on the side of a building, you know, wrapped around pillars, you know, like the, the Cardiff Museum is such a wonderful, um, you know, architecture. Um, it's such a beautiful building. You, you could do some really cool stuff with it, you know, wrap it around the pillars, flip it around the side, all that kind of stuff. So I'll leave it up to your imagination. But hope you enjoyed the tutorial, guys. You know, um, have some fun with it and... Um, uh, uh, when you're ready, move on to the next tutorial.